let's explore how to create a circular gauge chart in Chart.js 4. So let's start to create a circular gauge chart in Chart.js. So to do this, first of all, I have the border template ready, which is this one here. You can find this here on chartjs3.com getting started and copy this chunk of code here. So now we have this bar chart, but what I want to do is I want to convert this into a different chart type. However, I'm not going to do the standard what we will say, well, we can just do this with a donut chart and then convert this. No, I would like to change it into a complete chart type that is custom. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to say here, this will be our circular, circular, make sure you spell it correctly, and circular uh, chart or gauge, gauge chart, uh, circular. So now we have this here. And what I want to do now is start to work on creating this custom type. To do this, we have to do some advanced items in here. First of all, I want to say a class. And what we're going to do is we're going to create basically a new chart type. But the foundation of that chart type will be a donut chart. So we're going to say here, circular chart. And then we say extends. So what we're going to do, we're going to create, we will extend it, basically borrowing everything from our donut chart controller. So we say donut, and without the T here between, donut controller with capital C. So once you do this, there we are. Then what we have here is to draw. And what we want to do here is to draw everything of our item. So if I save this already, let's see if it works. Well, you can see it, it doesn't yet work because chart is not defined make sure we have that spell chart all right so circular gate chart is not yet a registered controller so everybody understands it however we're still missing some things so what i'm going to say here super dot draw and what this truly does is it will draw everything based on this item so all these things that the donut controller already has from chart yes it will be borrowed as well so we're going to say your arguments and that will be the drawing of it. So if I refresh here, of course, we're not allowed to draw yet because we have an unrecognized chart type. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to grab this circular chart and we're going to put that in here and we're going to see a dot ID and the circular chart will be called our circular gauge chart or circular gauge. That's this type here. And this is very important. And if you've seen my plugins, how you create plugins, this is basically the ID understanding what this represents. So then, once we did this, what I want to do is save this. Let's see here. All right. It's not registered controller. What, what's going on here is we still need to register it. So we have now created it, but it's still not being loaded or registered. So charges don't understand what's going on. So what I'm going to say here is we're going to say here, um, I guess, chart dot register and i'm going to say here our circular chart we want to register this object basically here save that refresh there we are so now as you can see here it works and of course it grabs even here the scale from this part here that is normal but you can see here basically we have nothing different however i want to have something very specific so i want to have a half gauge chart basically a gauge chart which is a half uh a half circle so what we need to do is well you would say well we can do that with the circumference and rotation that is correct however i don't want to do it in our data set no i want to have a preset in our circular chart so what we're going to do here now is the following we're going to grab this circular chart we're going to say a dot we're going to say a default i want to create now a set of defaults specifically for our chart so we're going to say a chart dot donut controller dot defaults what i'm really saying here is i want everything as a default or of the donut controller so that's number one however now i want some custom items so what i'm going to do here first of all let me just show you now what's going on if you do console log and i have here the dot defaults save the refresh you can see here we have all these items here. However, cutout percentage, I want to adjust. Everything else will be just by default. Uh, grabbed from this, unless we specify something else. So now what I want to do is, let's say cutout percentage. Let's reduce that. 
So we're going to say here, uh, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to say circular chart default, put the practice. Then I'm going to make it an object destructuring, and then we're going to assign the following cut out. And that cut out will not be any more 50%, but 95%. If I save this, refresh, as you can see here, this is now working. And basically, what we're doing is almost, if you would do here, cut out percentage, that's basically the same. But now it's set in here. So that's number one. What I want to do as well is I want to reduce this circle in half. So what I'm going to say here, um, circumference, which current, which creates the circle, how many degree? I want a half circle. So I'm going to have like that. There you are. So now we have this, but of course I want to rotate this a bit more. So let's put a comma here. And we're going to say the following is the uh, rotation. And the rotation should be how many? Well, basically this is considered zero or 360. So every time we have here 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and here 90 degrees. So what we need to do is basically this needs to rotate 75% to here. So this will be the start and then we have a rainbow or an arc. So what I'm going to say here then is the rotation circumference. If this is zero and this is 270, uh, we have to go here 90, 90, another 90. I guess uh, another 270. We can test this by saying 90. As you can see here, it will walk like that. All right, so another 180. So this plus 180 is 270. All right, save that, refresh. Now we have this. So now you have this. You might say, well, look at this additional space here. Why do we have this? And this is what we call the aspect ratio, or uh, the, the um, you have the maintain aspect ratio and you have the aspect ratio, and we're going to remove this. If you're familiar with it, normally you will say here, aspect ratio, by default, for a donut or a pie chart, it is always one to one, meaning the width will be one and the height is one in ratio. So what I want to do is I want to change that to let's say the bar structure, where we have two to one, where the width is twice as long as the height. So I'm going to say here two. If I save this, refresh, there we are. However, I don't want to do it in here. I believe that our chart by default should have this. So how do we do it? You might say, well, we have to do here this, and then we can say here maybe options, and then we have like that, plugins, and then you go maybe to the um, to the options here or aspect ratio like that. But that is not the case. So what we're going to do is semicolon here. We're going to add up a new item which will overwrite the options so we're going to say here circular chart dot overwrites overwrites then here we're going to say equal and then we're going to say here as back well we can do first is let me just show you what's in here so you can see here console log and copy this save refresh if i open up this you can see here the aspect ratio is one, and I think I deleted this one here. And aspect ratio is one, all right, let's see what's going on here. Did I already overrule it? Not yet. There we are, all right. So as you can see here, this is the default. Now what I'm going to do is, we have the aspect ratio, but it's still considered as one, although I'm kind of, kind of confused why it suddenly responds because we didn't say or assign a value. What I want to do is I want to make sure that the aspect ratio is not one anymore, it will be equal to two. And basically we are here just in the options immediately. So we're going to say a value of two. Let's save this, refresh, there we are. Another thing I believe that is useless in this case is this item here. Let's remove this legend. So how do we do this? Same story here. We're going to say here is plugins. And then of course we're going to say here the legend. And then we're going to say here, display, and set this on false. Semicolon here, save, refresh, and there we are. And now we have removed this all nicely. We could do the same for the tooltip. To do this, comma, it's still in the plugins. We're going to say tooltip, this for enabled, that's the way we do it for the tooltip, set on false. Save that, 
refresh and now if I hover over it you can see here now this is done and up and running so let's remove all of this here save scroll down and then what we want to do here for example this if I just say here donut chart you will see here save refresh it just works like normal but then if I say here now I want here the uh, circular gauge chart save refresh that works if I would even add up a new one you will see this instantly works because it understands the structure here basically we've created now our own custom chart so what I'm going to do is put this in here and I will just keep this here but now we have well all these values let's reduce this so you have a little bit of a difference so you can see immediately difference new chart let me remove all the excess values here that we don't need and of course here we have to make sure that this is unique in data because we have the second one this data will be data number two options config two this will be config two my chart should be my chart number two and this here another id so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add up here the canvas let's go here copy this Paste that in there, number two, say refresh. And as you can see here, now we just have two working circular gauge charts right out of the box.